Hello Matt Wizards! I know that you are excited of our lesson for today. This is just a continuation of our lesson in solving quadratic equations. Okay, so let us first try to look at this set of equations. This is what we call a quadratic equation, an equation with a degree of 2. Now let's have the first example. Let us consider this equation. r squared plus 10r plus 21 is equal to 0. The first thing that we need to do is to factor out the constant term so that the sum will be equal to the middle term. Since the sign of the last term is positive, therefore, the sign of the two factors are both positive. Since the sign of the middle term is positive, therefore, the sum of the two numbers is also positive. Let us add up the two factors. The sum of 7 and 3 is 10, and the sum of 21 and 1 is 22. Now we will consider the two factors that has a sum that is equal to the middle term, and that is 10. Now we will consider the factors 7 and 3. Now let's have the factor form of the quadratic equation, which is the product of the binomial r plus 7 times the binomial r plus 3 equal to 0. Now let's have the solution set of the equation. Therefore, the solution set of the equation is r is equal to negative 7 and negative 3. Now let's consider this quadratic equation. The first thing that we need to do is factor out the last term so that the sum will be the coefficient of the linear term. Since that the constant term of the quadratic equation is positive, therefore, the sign of the two factors is either both positive or both negative. Since the sign of the middle term is negative, therefore, the factors are both negative. The factors could be negative 12 and negative 2, negative 6 and negative 4, now, let's add up the two factors so that the sum will be negative 10. The sum of negative 12 and negative 2 is negative 14. The sum of negative 6 and negative 4 is negative 10. And the sum of negative 24 and negative 4 is negative 25. Since we are looking for the sum of the two factors that is equal to negative 10, the factors that we will consider is negative 6 and negative 4. Therefore, the factor form of our equation is W minus 6 times the quantity of W minus 4 equals 0. Now, let's have the solution set of the equation. Therefore, the solution set is 6 and 4. Now, let's consider x squared minus 3x minus 4 is equal to 0. Again, the first thing that we need to do is get the factor of the last term, which is negative 40. And so that sum will be equal to the coefficient of the linear term, which is negative 3. Since the sum of the last term is negative, therefore, the two factors have different signs. And the sum must be equal to negative 3, which means that the sign of the larger factor is negative. Now, let's have the factors of negative 40. So we have first 5 and negative 8. One of the factors of negative 40 is 2 and negative 20. And we also have 4 and negative 10. Add the two numbers so that we will consider the sum that is equal to negative 3. Therefore, we will consider the two numbers that has a sum of negative 3. And that is 5 and negative 8. Let us now have the factored form of the given quadratic equation. The factor form of the given quadratic equation is x plus 5 times the quantity of x minus 8 equal to 0. Now, let's have the solution set of the equation. The solution set is negative 5 and positive 8. Try answering the following equations and then we will check on the next video. I hope that you have learned something today with our lesson. Stay tuned to our next video.